Hello Colonet Africa online student, welcome to our last lesson, that is lesson 10 in this topic of uh, salt and I'm going to look at the effect of heat on sulfate, then we summarize our topic. Let's look at the experiment 4.13, what is the effect of heat on sulfate? This is the procedure, place a spatula full of hydrated ion 2 sulfate in a test tube. Heat the test tube gently at first and then strongly. Test the gas evolved with moist litmus paper. Repeat the experiment using the hydrated sulfates of sodium, magnesium, zinc and copper and record your observation as shown in 4.8. This is our table 4.8. We have the sulfates and the observations. So you record the observation in this row. In our discussion, the sulfates of potassium, sodium, calcium, and magnesium are stable and are not affected by heat. However, if hydrated, they lose water of pressurization on heating, which condenses at high up in the test tube. So you can use a copper and hydrous copper to sulfate to test for that uh, liquid or the colorless liquid that forms at the upper part of the test tube. If it is water, it turns the anhydrous, the white anhydrous copper to sulfate to brew, indicating that it is water. This is the equation for the hydrated, the hepta, the decahydrate of sodium sulfate. If you heat, you lose the 10 molecules of water, which is the water of crystallization. The resulting residue is stable. So in that case, you have a change in mass between the starting solid and the residue obtained. Zinc sulfate and copper two sulfate decomposes on strong heating to form the metal oxide, water, and sulfur four oxide gas, which is colorless. The gas turns moist blue litmus paper red because you're going to find that sulfur four oxide gas is an acidic gas, and that's why it turns moist blue litmus paper to red. This is our equation. We have zinc sulfate, it's heptahydrate. It has seven molecules of water coordinated to the structure of the salt. Then you obtain a zinc oxide. Remember, when it is hot, zinc oxide is yellow in color and it is white when cold. You have seen that. Then you have a colorless gas this gas we are saying it is acidic so it's gonna change blue rhythmus paper which is moist into red then we have a colorless liquid which turns a uh, white anhydrous copper to sulfate to brew then we have uh, the hydrated copper to sulfate if you heat the hydrated copper to sulfate it's brew in color you get a black residue which is copper 2 oxide plus sulfur 4 oxide plus water. Then hydrated iron 2 sulfate crystals decomposes to give iron 3 oxide, sulfur 4 oxide and sulfur, oh, uh, sorry, sulfur 4 oxide and sulfur 6 oxide and water. So if we heat hydrated iron 2 sulfate you're gonna get these four products iron 3 oxide sulfur 4 oxide sulfur 6 oxide and water of crystallization this is the equation we have the iron it's pale green in color it is a heptahydrate with seven molecules of water so you're gonna get the reddish brown or black residues which are iron 3 oxide sorry the sulfur 4 oxide and the sulfur 6 oxide these two gases are acidic in nature and therefore the when you introduce um blue moist rhythmus paper it's gonna change into red and it has to to be moist it is important to know that all ammonium salts decomposes on heating let's now look at the summary 
of our topic of salts. Salts are ionic compounds containing metallic or ammonium cations bonded to anions from acids. Soluble salts are prepared by the action of acid on metals, bases, carbonates, or hydrogen carbonates. Some salts can be prepared by dielect combination of the constituent element by a method known as dielect synthesis. Insoluble salts are prepared by precipitation reaction or double decomposition, which is involved in exchange of ions by reactants. Normal salts are formed when all replaceable hydrogen atoms of an acid are replaced by a metal or ammonium ions. Normal salts form neutral solutions when dissolved in water. Acid salts are formed when some of the replaceable hydrogen ions or hydrogen atoms in an acid are replaced by metal and ammonium ions. Acidic salts form acidic solution when dissolved in water because they have hydrogen ions. Basic salts are salts that contain hydroxide ions. The basicity of an acid is the number of the replaceable hydrogen ions per molecule of the acid. The liquid sand salts absorb water from the atmosphere, dissolving it, forming a solution. Hence, they should be prepared and stored in a very dry place. Hygroscopic salts absorb water from the atmosphere but do not form solutions. They just become damp. A fluorescent salt rules the water of crystallization to the atmosphere. And that brings us to the, last, uh, to the end of our topic of salt. So you have the assignment 10. Test on the action of heat on sulfates and most probably the summary of uh, the salt or the topic of salt. Do the questions and all the best.